iso ko matila mana iso ang tani kapit ng ani ko yabia po mani ni ko nagnaro bakra na tanga sol ko na ha. It's a joy to witness the people in Garo Hills, the officials of the Meghalaya state, and also the servants of God from the various parts of the globe. Ah, yan o zong ada cikrang ko grong na aro asong ni dengke parang ko grong na. And I want to thank God for the invitation extended to me by the General Secretary of the Gaurav Baptist uh, Convention and yeah. also the President of the Gaurav Baptist Convention, Brother Sundar Sangma. ABD Kenny, uh, General Secretary, Arundhagi ABD Kenny, Padot, Pad Sundar Sangmani, Okamatani Naru Bakrana Chol Konani Naru Kumatela. And we thank God for the wonderful partnership that we enjoy with the Gauru Baptist Convention and also Indian Evangelical Mission over the years. Aru Batangaman Salramo, ABD K, Aru Indian Evangelical Mission Ni. So we want to thank God and I would like to present a moment to our president uh, for the wonderful way how we are able to relate together and take the gospel of Christ across the nations. The Lord has given a wonderful theme, great things He has done. As we are going to listen to the word of God, we request you to remain back in the places where you are going to be. And I will read a very important, well-known text to us. And we allow the Spirit of God to understand His truth in our lives. And it is my prayer that when you go back to our respective places, we may be able to have a new beginning in our lives. Every history has past, present and the future. We remember the past because the Lord has sent the pioneers of the gospel to our place and also the pioneers who are able to stand for the faith in our hills. And also we reflect from the present. After receiving the blessing of God in our lives. And what are the challenges before us? And also the opportunities around us to bless other people. And there is a future for us. And looking into all the dynamics. And we may to take the right resolutions in our lives. The decision for our personal life. Maybe for our families. And our churches. And for our communities. And march forward. Move forward with the grace of God. As our church enter into the 150th year, we go through a lot of changes in our lives. Even the church also goes through a lot of changes. Before I share the word of God, I call the church to come to five important principles. Number one, to the authenticity of the scripture of God's word. The inspired word of God. God has given God's word in our languages. 
Isol Antni Kutanti Nuni Katarango Naha. Let us go through God's word in our lives. I Antni Zangitani Isoli Katarango Porena. And secondly, Gnigpa, interpretation of the scripture to its relevancy to our context. Ya Isoli Katarango Antni Zangitan Obostana Tik on a piani. And we go through a lot of different doctrines these days in our country. Ya Sansomer Antni Asoma Banga. And the churches are divided on the basis of the different doctrines. And those doctrines are leading us into a kind of a bondage. But God's word is given to us to deliver from all the bondages. So we should be able to be justice to the relevancy of the word of God. The third is the tradition of the church. I do not know how the Baptist friends will take when I talk about the tradition. It is nothing else than the best practices of our church. And the fourth aspect is the ecumenical commitments. How as a global body of Christ can come together, unite together in purity and God's values, move forward so that the kingdom of God may be prevailing among the people. Include God's creation as we move forward. And the fifth area is our commitment to the apostolic succession or to the great commission. And we thank God for the way how the church of God is able to grow. Our chief minister was talking about the contribution of the missionaries. Chief minister, missionary the recent Christ has given the commission to go to all nations. Jesus said, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you will be my witnesses. My witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, Sakiram. And the history says, after the Reformation time, uh, all the denominations they had three different councils. And one is known as the church council. It is like a pastorate committee that we have. To look into the local ministry and the maintenance of the church. And secondly, they had the home council. Taking the gospel to the neighborhood, uh, planting the churches in the nearby area. It is like a formation of the branch churches. And the third was the field council. Field council. Sending the people across the nation and the countries. You take the Baptist, Presbyterian, Methodist, or the Mennonite, or Anglican, you take any denomination. Baptist, Presbyterian, Anglican, Mennonite, And these are the four important councils. We are prevailing in all the denominations. And uh, the commitment of the church was like this. 
ポート Christianity baby and who can take Paul Talata the Christian theology is summarized in this one word Christian theology ko ya pot sachin thalata the mission of the church is summarized in this one word Mondolini mission ko ya pot sachin thalata four words he talks about Paul ya ning bana ga ni chem number one faith skangpa beberani secondly freedom ganigpa jakadelani third is forgiveness gathamgpa khimakhani fourth is the fellowship brigpa bakrimani and he celebrates god for this four important dimensions arya mambrina wa isol ko mtiani acham this is what the lord has done in my life ya kusa gatel angna takaha ne agania number one the faith in christ skangpa Christo beber ani secondly the freedom ganig pa jakadelani the third one is the forgiveness gathang pa khimakhani the fourth one is the fellowship prig pa bakramani let us see this four elements very very in a intimate way which may be able to help us to understand the dynamics what the lord has done on the cross for us haiya kon sing onchan nang thu batin yangna je da kode isol atna wa chi solo mai ko da ka kon sing uina mangen the first word is says that to open their eyes in order to turn them from the darkness to light skang ko kana andaloni singauna nge rumbachina pulchina nyana and paul is talking about his own personal experience aro yano paul antangi chatut kemun ko sagania he was encountered by the risen christ on his way to damascus wa damascus na yang matngo chahat pulgaman christ ko grunga ha and that was the in the encounter of jesus with jesus christ arwan uni christ ko grunga ni wacham and he became blind arwa somayo wa and hana wacham then when he opened his eyes ジェンサロニマクラのワコマントライ。イワズエブルトシーアニューライフインヒスライフ。アロノンワンタニジャンギタニオグタールワニコチャトタハ。アンドイズザカインドオブイメジネリーダットウィシー。アロヤコンセ
Jesus. Jen Salon si isoli magsunga awni di kaya ni. It is a wonderful ministry of God by calling us by name. An isol an sing ko at bimang tang si okame an sing ko raba. Drawing us into His wonderful circle. Wa an sing ko uni sambaw na salbaka. When I made a text to our uh, uh, general secretary, uh, Reverend Janam this morning. Ya pring wanga general secretary Reverend Janam na digis text katiyo siya tingo. He has put a wonderful text in his under his name from Psalm 139. Wa gita number sa sa kolat si school ni ko antang ni wa status text. Text. Text ko dona ha. You are wonderfully and fearfully created by God. There is a wonderful book written by Dr. Paul Brand, wonderfully and fearfully, along with Philip Fancy. A beautiful book that we can read. Dr. Paul. Paul Brand. Dr. Paul Brand is saying, "Man, na ayon man ni aro thuntulong ngni ungat kapa ang mga kitab dumah." How each and every parts of our body are created to serve God's purposes. Wano ans ni be ni plak pa karon kon mati ki isona rasong ko raban ungat ha wani musya. And now Paul, when he was encountered by recent Christ, and now Paul Jensen was sakat pa karon Christo ko grong ha. And when he committed his life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, and Jensen wala ang thani zangita niyo ko zangita niyo gatel si Suko. And he was able to see the life in its fullness. Aro unon wa wo swak ba zangita ni ko sabrong ha. And he was able to see the new life in abundance in his in his future for the future. Aro niki unie zangita ni makangsi zangita ngani na ba wa swak ba ba swak ba zangita ni ko mana ha. Ephesians chapter two verse one it says. Ephesians udai ngani po sa wagana. And it says that you have made me alive who are dead in trespasses and sin. Antini paprango sigma no muto na tsingko tangchat ta hania kana and i was dead to the trespasses and sin ajan sa lanchen antini paprango niyam pinu sigma no wa what is sin in our lives antini jangitanis pap ngu par maya serving to god's expectation iso jena tsu muksunga ta wa ko mani ki sada kana what is transgression aniyam pheni ngu par maya crossing the boundary one Don't give me an arena body or any. Are missing the mark in our lives. Aro don't so give me nisan ko. Nangi kita kapan si straight ani. Missing the purpose in our lives. Ani zangi tani maksuan ni straight ani. That's what the Bible talks about sin. Aro nake yan nake pap ko sastro thala. Bible is not talking about an activist. Sastro na ani taka kam rangi mo dagan zaya. Bible is promoting the disciple of Jesus Christ. Sastro na jishni snang parang uwan imsa ganiya. Now Paul says, now I can become alive in Jesus Christ. Paul ang dao dyan nga Christo o thangsa tako mana ha. I was dead in sin and trespasses. Angara papo ano niyam pi ano sigma ng atsum? Because I have committed my life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Ani jangi tani yo. Christ ona gatelong na unahan ikban. All of him to take control of my life. Aru ko ang isang itin plak bak ko na si na unahan ikban. And allowed him to rule my life. Aru ang isang itin ko sasong ka na unahan ikban. I got the new meaning for my life. Ang isang itin gatal o toko gatal o sangitan ikom na. And now I have become a useful vessel in the sight of God. Aru dada nga isol ni makawo zakal toko pong ha. My dear brothers and sisters. Ani kasar zonga do no abira. This is what the great things of the Lord has done in our. Yang nak apa dalan yang kusah gete alang sini janggi tenu kah? It is not the activity that you are doing, thinking that you are doing great things for God. Nah, ani yang ni cincin ta ansi isu na dalan yang ko dapat ni ane ki umza. That's what Paul was thinking about his life. Paul yang ane ki ansi janggi tenu kah ni aja. He was thinking that he is doing great things for his own faith. Wah ane ki cincin aja, anga ane ni baby ani na dalan yang ko dapat ni ane wat cincin aja. But God had a different plan in his life. Ani ba isu la rau ni janggi tenu kah gitu. Tang maksud ni ko dona ha. I am a son of a missionary. Ah, ang mga missionary yung an. And my parents served God among the tribes in Tamil Nadu for 58 years. Ano, bisi sotbon sa tna ni mga pagkup at Tamil Nadu nge missionary kam ko ka ha. And I was sitting in the stage. I was thinking about the 38 years of our stay in the grassroot house. Ano, nge ang ang ni jangit ano bisi kolat si set wa. Awan ni ke ampang cip hingga pan nok ko dunga ni ko mana cint cipta ni cium. In my sixth standard, I started to learn many music instruments. Sixth standard started to learn many music. Ah, class six tu nih bangga doka damanya muskira ha. I was leading the choir in our church. Anga 
Sometimes he can put us into some sinful nature. Sometimes he can put you into the addiction of something. Maybe to liquor. Maybe to the bad relationship. Maybe to the life spending of the money. Not faithful to what we are expected to do. Addiction to the pornography. We never allow others to see what is in our lives. We, we hide everything. Always there is a hidden life in our in our personal life. We try to live in a kind of a different world. Because the devil doesn't like us to be released from all those things. But the good news is Jesus came to release us from all the bondages. That is the greatest thing what the Lord has done us. He came to seek and save the sinners. So that we can free from all the bondages. When Jesus came to this earth, when he started his ministry, the wonderful Nazareth manifesto goes like this in Luke chapter 4. Luke Odai Brio. And it says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, proclaim the liberty to the captives. Recovery of sight to the blind. Set at liberty to those who are oppressed. Various forms of oppression we see. When the gospel of Christ comes in the lives of anyone, the gospel always confronts the evil things. Gospel always confronts the evil structure. And that is the reason we are able to see that when the gospel came in our country, and the schools have started in many places. And I come from a place, a tip of our nation, Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari ni. Before our missionaries came to our place, men and women are not allowed to wear the upper dress before on their on, on their body. Oppressed by the people. The gospel of Jesus Christ transformed the lives. This is what the message of Jesus Christ. The education brought people into the enlightenment. And when Jesus came on this earth, he moved with the compassion. He was sensitive to the needs of the people. The freedom in Jesus Christ, it brings the individual dignity for everyone. The gospel of Jesus Christ promotes the dignity of the humanity. One of the things we always promote is the equality of the humanity. This is what the gospel can do in our lives. Set us free from all the bondages. 
my dear brothers and sisters ani khasara chuma da no abhi the lord has restored a wonderful deliverance in our lives jain saluk te anji jangit ani vand ki dada na mathe plani ko na or you liberated from some of the things which is really pulling you down in our life aro je namgi jan namni jangit ko salone achem waro ni ko namko jakde lata sometimes you are not able to surrender to the lord basa ko ni namta ko gatel na bamme onna manja you are not able to confess some of the things to receive this freedom in jesus christ aro basa ko na antani jangit ani plak dakum na ko khura chake ya jishin ani ko achak na manja you live with a guilty feeling dage ongon na anta ko doshi gnam na ke jangit thanga this afternoon na lord wanted to deliver you from those areas ya thamchi para ya plak na ko bosani ko na ko gatel jakatel na skenga the first one we saw the faith in christ skanga pansang gatelo bebera ni mun christo bebera ni ka ha secondly the freedom ganik paul jakatel ani ka man and then he talks about the forgiveness aro ka tham ka pawa khima khani mun aga na forgiveness of the sin pha poni khima khani when jesus came on this earth jan salo jisu ya ka sakone re ba by demonstrating his love on the cross aro wa antani khasani ko chiso lo miso ka ha and he has given us the freedom not only from the sin but also the forgiveness aru wants na phaponi khema khani ko sanong jani ba phaponi jokani ko sanong jani ba khema khani ko na he restored the relationship back unon wa ai sol baksa nangrem plani ko wa onthai ha and efficient chapter 2 verse 14 says episis odai gani po chibra kana the wall of separation was demolished when jesus came wa nangrem patani ko champeng pa phakma ko Uh, the enmity was taken out. Wa bobol nga ni ko rang khata ha. The bitterness was taken out. Wa machi kaka ni ko rang ha. The broken relationship was restored because Jesus forgave us. Se begaman anangrem kaka ni ko wa namgi chakpa nangrem kaka ni ko namat pla ha mana Jesus wa pakham ka ha. The need of the family is the forgiveness these days. Ya sal somai rang ode noktang o khema khak kaka ni ko nanga. The need of the church is the forgiveness. Mondoli oba ya sal somai khema khak kaka ni ko nanga. The need of a old place is the forgiveness. Kham kharam bia prang oba khema khak kaka ni ko sal somai nanga. Though we live in a democratic and united country Dalan sen de ke jakadel ke pa asongo dongen se moba we have all diversities in our nation anji jangi tane anji dingthang dingthang jat asu anji mandirang donga varieties of people ne ke dingthang thang mandirang donga and sometimes we are divided in many ways aro yanam ni asilan ba asu men acha dingthang thang be walo bak bak onga why all these things are happening mai ne yanam ara onga we are not able to accept others anja saksa sakun ko raja krishna manja the own backgrounds anja anthang thang mai to ko ga do dal banthan ko song ene ka we are not able to accept others na ge anja sakupan ko raja krishna manja promote other people aru sakupan ni slow ani ko ngat as ja we are not able to allow we are not able to love other people aru anja ne ge sakupan rang na de khasana manja sometimes we live with the self righteousness of our lives basa ko de anja anthang na ko sa tholu me murke khake to murke jangi thanga ya we make our own standards Allah is. Anjang 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 ya salama de banga nokdang rang chik se kalgir kani rang dunga and many families are in the coach aron ke banga nokdang rang khasariyo saksak ko sak khasariyo saksak ko rangia why all those things are happening maina ya da ko bos rangia good education is there dalo namma ski rani akon chi manjo good acceptance in the society anjing ko songsaro ba na mainra acha kaha manja good position in the workplace anjini kham karam bia prabhu banji na mana ma kham ka thani na hands anjini jako chiwa ta thanga paisa ra why all those things are happening andi oba mai ni ban yo bos thara ho ya because we live with the selfishness mai na chara alak si da ke jangi thanga we are not able to see others as we are called to see sakubana ko jira ke ansing niyat na nga jira ki so nang ka war ka ansing niyat na manja the lord is calling us to have the culture of forgiveness in all the places adalo iso ansing ko plak bia prangon ya khema khani bewal ko raba china agani ya the spirit of forgiveness should start from our homes ya khema khani bewal ara ansing nokdang ro ni abachi nangen 
And it should be seen in our churches. And it should be reflected in our workplaces. And also manifested in our communities. And that is what the Lord is expecting us. And Jesus is calling us to be the channel of forgiveness. And, and Jesus said, if you forgive the sins of others, it will be forgiven. He is he's not giving the authority to forgive. But a channel of forgiveness. My father started a school in a particular place. As, a, uh, as per the protocol, he has to appoint a new headmaster to get the government recognition. So the person who was acting as a principal or a headmaster he was not able to understand the dynamics of this change. And when they are changing the leadership the outgoing man was just giving a lot of work awards against my father. Abusive words. I was sitting next to that room. I was, I was preparing for my college exams. The blood was boiling for me. My, I thought my father as the correspondent of the school is not executing his authority. He came to my home after the, all the office works. I could see my dad was down in spirit. Then my mother came from the school. My mother didn't know what all happened. We had a cow which can give only two cups of milk. Normally, normally one cup we give to the person who blasted my father because they had a small child. Because of the ulcer, my mother used to take one cup. Ulcer problem. After, after getting the milk, my mother said, go and give to them this one cup of milk. I got angry, raised my voice. How can I go and give to the person who shouted at my father? I looked at me, my father said, Raja, go and do what mommy asked you to do. I went and gave the milk. My father said, Raja, you are going to serve God. If we cannot forgive, you are not forgiven still. That's what my father said. You are forgiven person only can forgive others. It, gave a, it, it became a great blow in my life. My mother came to know later. She did not say anything. And the next day, that particular family came back to our father. And then they asked the forgiveness. I thank God for my godly parents. I have seen in my own eyes what was happening. 
and that is still imprinted in my life aro yan amni jangi thaneo dalo ba cha sapa ha in my leadership style role i don't have any difficulty to forgive other people amni dalo dilgo pong aniyo anga sakapun ko khima khana mamung ni ani dong ja ha my dear parents khasara ma phara ye chitu na looking for the role model in your family namni de drang rang de dakapa dakki mi sokapa rang ko amnya namni noktango how is your relationship between your spouses Nami zik nasimani zik se jangi thangani era mai rokom how is your life in front of your children nasimani de drang rani mukhon asimara mai ki jangi thangiya children will follow your footprints nasimani de drang rang de nasimani jakhol khon sangen what they see they will try to imitate in the near future je kon asimani ko wamang dakia u kon wamang mukhang chide jarken and let all our house become a place of forgiveness Anthony Noktang gemakan khima karam bia pongchina and uh, this is maybe the one of the greatest thing the lord has done in our lives aro haide yan aji jangiteno isoni da arango da kali mungsaung chungoken and the lord has given us the wonderful ministry of reconciliation to the body of christ ansina gatelara uni bimangona nangrum matani khamko khachina na ha and fifth fourthly and finally um brig paro bangkham gopa and it says that in verse 26 Pot chapter 26 verse 18 aya hota do dekhun tok pot chinche ton kya kana an inheritance among those who are sanctified by my faith in me aya no agana ya ar bebe ra ga chi rong thala ko man pareng gise po man ga ni ko man china it talks about the fellowship yam nam rumani ko na gana it is the people of god coming together yam isoli mandirang ni apsan nangrome jangi thani yavishet chapter 2 verse 19 it says Apisus odai gani poch isku agana you are no more foreigners and strangers na simang agut thalrang aro dongphai gparang jaha you have become the fellow citizen the god would of god na simara isoli nokhi madrang nonga ha you have become the fellow citizen the household of god isoli noktang o madrak parang madrang nonga ha you are no more strangers and foreigners na simang agut thalrang aro dongphai gparang jaha you got a new identity in jesus christ jesus christo anseng gatal gadang ko mana ha and you have become the person part of the parcel of the fellowship of god na si mara isoli nokni madrang nga ha you no need to struggle for your identity ajin na a nakni jangi thani o the lord has esteemed us so high in his life in our lives the lord has esteemed us so high a isol ajin ko ndake chwe na me ra ha evaluate so much about our lives ansini jangi tanu gamchate wara ha sometimes we go down in spirit pasa ko bi ansin gisik bia who is that to recognize my life sawa ankura jangi tanu wi pa who is that to consider my needs amni nangani ko sawa wi pa am i part of the society aro amni songsar angko ama amni songsar ni aro bak mama but the lord counts you in the fellowship of god's people and ba isol de ansingo uni nokni madrang dake chana ha that's why in the church in the fellowship of god's people we enjoy the wonderful unity uni msansing mondolio ar isol ni mandir ni sepode nakwa nang rummani ansing khacha in the fellowship we have the transparency ansing ki nang rummani o nege success akpon ko na me ma sikra ka where we can continue to enjoy the presence of god ansing de ke isol ni tong phani o ansing khatsana mana because of lord jesus christ jesus christ oni kuman paul declared to agrippa paul agrippa na gana because of jesus christ i got all these blessings in my life jesus christ oni kuman ya plak phatiane khonga mana ha because i put my faith in jesus christ ama jesus christ oni bebe rani ko dona i got the meaning for my life ami jangi jeno ortho ko mana ha i serve god with a purpose anga deke muksoni kana ya and because i become a child of god i sone dew hani kuman i was dead to the sin ama phap na sigman and i got resurrected in jesus christ Jesus Christ to chaka pla ko mana ha Now do I die on this earth Dao ga ya ka sa ko sina nang gen chimo ba I got the meaning for my eternal life Angni makhang chi jangi thani na nga or to ko mana ha I am aware that where I'm going to spend my eternity Jeo angani jring jo jangi thani ro boni gen Because the Jesus has given me the living hope mai na jisu amna thangpa khadungani ko na ha i have the joy of eternal life anga jring jodni jangi ko manani ko i am free from all the bondages of my life 
Ang abang atang ang nangkua ka na tsang naagok ka may na naari soli sumen na singa niya ka nunga. But you waited and honored God in your life. Ani ba na as singa ha aro nang ni zangit ni isol ko mandera ha. You serve God and the people. Na isol aro mandera na adang tukyo na ha. David later because I got lot of money in my hands. David, anga zaman lo bang at ang kapisa mo ni sa ko man ha. I addicted to many habits. Ah, bang anam gisa ko pa bewar ang ko dar dar bewar ang zangit ang ha. Lost the job. Aro niya ang ni zangit ang ni kam ko gumata ha. Lost my work. Ang ni kam ko ba gumata ha. Lost the identity in the society. Aro niya song saro ba ang ni namani gumata ha. Lost the family. Ang nukdang ko ba gumata ha. I am nobody. Dalawang ade ma mang ba ang zangit? Nobody is looking at me. Darang bang ko ni niya ba niya zangit? David, David. David, David. You and I sat together. Ang sa sakni absan abo siya. But you made a difference in your life. Hindi ba ang ni zangit yung nading tang ko ba ko dak arab? You waited upon God. Na isong asinga. Understood the purpose of God in your life. Nang isang ti isoli magsunga ni ko na wia. You given your life to serve God's purpose. Na nang isang gitang ni ko isoli nang nakani na onaha. You serve God so beautifully in your lives. Na nang isang gitang ni ko isong na ortog nang yena dang tigna. You lived for others and invested your life for others. Aro na aro nang isang gitino sakupanan isang gitang sakupanan kamkaha. What a glorious life you lived. May dakupa. Rasung sabi ko pa jangit na tatay. What a honor you are having even in your funeral service. Nang ko gopani gulsa mang banarab nakupa mandir ani ko maninga. He was going on crying, looking into the funeral service. Aru yah mandir na nakin yah gopani gulsa o grape mang dumya siya. The Bible says I will honor those who honor me. Asastro ka na ziyan ang ko mandir ako kung ano ba mandir ang ginagawa. Honor God in your priorities of your life. Ano ang ni sa kita ni isol ko mandir abo? Honor God in your choices. Ano ang ni basi ni isol ko mandir abo? Honor God in all your decision makings. Ano ang ni plak basi ani ramo isol ko mandir abo? The greatest thing what you can do. For God is to keep God in the center of your lives. Nang ni zangit ni isol ko bisang si dono dewa nak na nak na mana dalam ko. Because already He has done great things for your life. Awa ansi na dalan ko nak mana ha? In response to God, isol na akan sa kani kita. Keep God in the center of your lives. Nang ni zangit ni isol ko bisang si dono. Keeping center God in your life is God honoring God. Ano ang ni zangit ni isol ko bisang si dono na kani isol ko mandira ni ko kaniya. This honor is linked with the eternity. Yan ang isol ko mandira ni ra nang ni drang drato na zangit ni paksa ng rupa. I'm not bother what you are right now. Na ara dao may takma mandira ni mga mga mamang sanchita. You know who you are in our lives. Na ara ang tangi zangit ni may wako na nuya. In your personal life. Nang ni atang zangit ni yung family life. Noktang o zangit ni yung. In your society. Songsar zangit ni yung. In your office. Office to zangit ni yung. You are dealing with other people. Na mandira ng sa kamay. Your relationship with others. Na kapre ng sa nanglo miya. You know who you are. Na ara sawa ko na nuya. Today the Lord wanted you to have a new beginning in your life. Dalo igatel na ko gatal abo chintino nang nika. God will be glorified in your brokenness. Nangni zangit na bigaman zangit na yung odi na isulong de na uno isulong. We worship a God who honors the broken heart of people. Dalo na andak ba isulong ko bibera zian nang ko mandir up bigaman katung nang ko. Honor God. Isulong ko mandir abo. He has done great things. Wa dalaw kam nang ko kaha. Shall we all be in the presence of, as you are in the presence of God? Ansi isulong ni makong iyon. Shall we all close our eyes? Hay ansi ng ansi ni makro nang ko magtsip na. And head bound on. I am going to finish it now. Paul said, "These are the great things the Lord has done." Faith, freedom, forgiveness, and the fellowship. The Lord spoke to us. If you say that, Lord, I want to honor you. Gadel, ang anak ko mandir ang naska. I want to commit my life to accept you as the Lord and Savior. Anga, ang ni zangit na ang ko gadel aron sukat pa niya sa naska. And if you want to say that I want to serve God's purposes, aron na anga nak ni isol ni iskany ang ko nga susok at naska no day. Everything is white and black before God. Isol ni makaw ni ang zangit ni black and donu ni green. You cannot hide anything. The greatest celebration is consecrating your life to Jesus Christ. Dalpat sangupa mania ni pakatsa ni dinang ni zangit ang Jesus na to serve God's purposes. 
isoli magsungani ko susukatan ni if you say so na ay yan ang akan sa kanya niya wherever you are na ziyo bang bo in the presence of God isoli magkamo as the spirit of God is speaking to you isoli kis na nga kaniyo you can just stand na sa ding na magyan God wanted to use you isol nako jakalas kaniya you can just stand wherever you are na ziyo ang unon sa ding buhay may request our friends to sing once again the song that we all loudly sang just few minutes back and also yesterday all the time a song from this land i have decided to follow jesus ana anir pena ko mon maram ga mizalo arantine da siorang ga bagit a jisuni zamana nga ja arkian ga bagit jian ya biaponi no khata wa khorang atina mo as we are going to sing this song ya git kwan sing ring ing when the lord is speaking to you i saw ni nak na ga ni ode and you can make a commitment to lord jesus christ na a jisu christo na on khang na ga man gen As you are listening to the song na ya git na khata thame ngon this is the land which has blessed by this song to so many people in this world ya gitara ya asone no khataro bangara no patini kura ba around betel is a place of god ya bia betel era isoni bia bunga the lord wanted you bless isol na na patina skinga what are maybe your circumstances now you was a jibong china you can make a commitment to lord jesus christ ah gadel jesus christ to na on come the lord is speaking to you ah gadel na na gani on reminding you now na gistra thani ko ne ode you should have a new life ah gadal jangi thani ko ra na no ga ni in your life gadal abachi thani wherever you are na jibong bo you can stand na sadeng na matyan Are you just, I 
Grow your word through your scripture. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit may be so precious in their lives. Send them all with your blessing. <laughs> As they have decided to follow you. There will be challenges before them. Help them to stand firm in all the storms. Honor their commitment. Bless them on all their futures. Amen. Amen. God bless you, friends. One request I want to make it. When you go back to your home. Tell what the Lord has done in your lives. And also in your church. If there is a house worship or church worship or Sunday worship, get some time to tell what the Lord has done. To your friends also you go and tell. Thank you.